Haley out here joined by USF head coach Jose Fernandez. Coach, another grinded out battle tonight in the semifinals. Last night was a tough game, another tough game tonight. Four of your players played the entire game yesterday and then again in the first half today. How are they doing physically? I told you that last night it was going to happen. Uh, you know, we are who we are. That's where we're at. I mean, we really don't have perimeter subs. So um, it'll be the same thing tomorrow night. And then defensively, a great improvement today. What kind of adjustments did you make from yesterday's game? I just think I think we defended. We defended a lot better. I, mean, I thought we uh, we rebounded definitely on the defensive end of, end of the floor a lot better. I told this group, I'm very proud to, you know, third straight year you're playing on Monday night for a conference championship, and uh, with four new starters this year. So, and that was our 24th win. So it's a very big game. Heading into tomorrow's final, uh, you just talked about it. you're the second team, apparently, to meet UConn this year three times. But uh, you learned a lot from the first game, uh, showing a much improvement just last week against them at your place. Uh, what was your biggest takeaway from that game, and what do you need to do tomorrow? We shot the ball a lot better. We scored. You know, that helps. You know, we, but we're going to have to do a great job on the glass and defending you know, Gab Gabby and the FISA. But you know, every shot that they take has to be contested. But they're a very, very good basketball team. And it's a great opportunity for our program on national TV. Third time in three years, UConn in the final. Obviously a tough task. Every team this year has wanted to knock them off. But if it happens to be you guys, what would winning this American championship mean? I don't know, let me think about that. I'll talk to you after the game. <laughs> no, it'd be, I mean, it'd be, it'd be a huge win for our program. It'd be, and, and I think uh, we definitely get a lot of attention around the country. But, you know, we got to rest up and uh, get these guys to bed because they're going to play a lot of minutes tomorrow as well. All right, thanks a lot. We'll see you tomorrow. You got it. I'm joined by Tamara Henshaw. Tamara, congratulations on this win. As a freshman, this experience has to be pretty surreal for you, playing in a tough battle last night, coming away with that win. But then again, another tough game today. What are you learning here about the postseason? Well, I know that it's just a grind. Like every day you have to keep pushing. Um, now that we're going back to back to back games, like it, it's all here right now and you have to put everything out there or you, you won't come out. Coach just talked about it but said you had a great game, a major impact in today's game. What was your goal heading into tonight? Um, definitely to make an impact, to, um, to at least try and get Kit open because we knew that she could knock down those threes. So um, if I could do something inside and have them double on me and get Kit open, that's what I was going to do. This whole, this whole experience has to be a little bit surreal here, but making it to the final for your team, it's the third year in a row, but for you, it's your first time. What would it mean to you to win an American Conference championship? It would mean so much. Um, I know not just for me, but for everyone. I, I, I just I don't know what to say. Like, it would be so amazing to do it. All right. Thanks a lot. Well, good luck Thank tomorrow. You. Thank you. I'm joined by Kitty Aloxa. Kitty, congratulations. Another tough win for your team tonight, but you guys were able to persevere and push through these challenging games, these physical games that you guys kind of have to gut it out and grind it out. What do you think that helps your team just with experience here in the postseason, being able to pull off these kinds of victories? First of all, thank you. It was it was a tough one. Temple's a tough team, and I'm just so proud of my team, teammates, everyone who stepped up, who did their job, and all, all the shots that we made, all the rebounds, all the hustle plays. It was it was big. The game was big, and it means a lot to finally to to get in the champ championship game because <laughs> because that's what we worked all season for. 40 minutes for you yesterday, 40 minutes for you today, but third game in three days. That's not easy for anybody, no matter how much you've trained, but how mentally and physically ready are you for tomorrow? It's, it's never going to be easy and definitely not playing Connecticut, but that's why we're here. We wanted that. Well, we wanted that and we worked for it. And I think just now we're going to go home, get some rest, prepare, because mentally we're, we're ready for it. We could go right now and kick some butt. Third year in a row facing UConn in the final. Second for you, but third time for your team. Third time facing it this year. Your new favorite saying, third time's the charm. <laughs> what would it mean for you to pull off this win over the top team in the country and win an American championship? It will be just huge, but first, when we're going to take every 10 minutes. We're going to go hard every 10 minutes. It's four quarters, 40 minutes to play, and it's, it's going to be tough. We will have to battle and grind for every 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 ball and everything so it, it means a lot it will mean a lot and it doesn't matter like today we can we talk we can talk about it but tomorrow's the real deal all right well good luck tomorrow we'll see you tomorrow thank you